What's up guys, it's your boy Dillo Pillow. Today I'm going to be doing a style video I've never done before, but it's going to start a series on the channel. My guests and I are going to be drafting a team of five songs today, and you guys get to vote on whose is better. My guest for today's video is Nick Is Not Green. Hello everybody, I am, I'm the first guest for this series. One day it'll be you and Fantano yeah. ranking Death Grip songs, but Probably, for today... Yeah. <laughs> It's just me. And uh, we're going to be drafting a team of five J.I.D. songs today. Uh, how did you first come across J.I.D., Nick? Um, the first time I came across uh, the first time I came across J.I.D. was the same week I came across J.P.E.G. And speaking of Fantano, I think it was J.I.D. and J.P.E.G. put out uh, both put out voice crack. J.I.D. and Denzel both put out a single in the same week. Uh, J.P.E.G.'s was um, was Puff Daddy with Kenny Beats and then J.I.D. put out Off D's with J. Cole and they were both in Fantano's best tracks of the week and I was looking for new rappers to get into and so I listened to both of them and now they're two of my favorite rappers so here we are. All right that's awesome and yeah like J.I.D. is one of the main faces of like Dreamville he's worked mm -hmm. with Spillage Village he's done a lot of features as well but he doesn't have like a huge solo discography yet uh, but his next album, The Forever Story, should be coming out soon. So I'm excited for yes. that. And I thought it would be fun to rank some of the best songs so far. So we're going to be picking tracks from The Never Story and DiCaprio 2 today. And uh, may the best team win. Nick, since you're the guest today, you have the first pick. Okay. I'm I'm prepared. I'm ready. Um, I have a good mix of what I think are, you know, people will... I have a good mix of what I think people will think are the most popular tracks, but also songs that I personally... I really enjoy um the first one is a mix of both it's a song that i think has you know great production great rapping and also has you know really good credits because a big part of the song is um that jid dedicated it to mac miller because he helped write the song and that's strawberries let's be realistic i've been trying to get in touch with my senses and be better to my senses but niggas think that you feminine when you sensitive i love the song i love the lyricism um you know, every everything about it, I think, makes for a great J.I.D. track. And that's why it's my number one. All right. That's a good first pick for sure. I think that like having a personal connection or like a good idea of why you like that one is, is dope for sure. I wouldn't say it's probably like his most popular song or anything, but mm -hmm. it's a good pick. My first pick is a no brainer for me. This is the first J.I.D. song I heard way back in the day in high school. I gotta pick never with my first pick. All right, what you call a chick that don't suck dick, you don't. And if you think you finna come up this, you won't. Down comes the boogie and up jumps the funk. This beat taking the beat and got hand out. The pick. Just a legendary beat switch. Like, I can't think of many yep. better beat switches. So that that's a song that I've been going back to for years and years and years. So I think that might be his best. Yeah, I can never get sick of that song. Um, it was my number three. So you got me. You got me one, you got me already, but I, I still got some to back up. Number two, I'm gonna have to go with uh, you know, the first one I heard. I think it is proof that JID can hold up to the greats because he can keep up with people like J. Cole who are known to be those like Goliaths of rap and that's off D's. Okay, he still answer Playboy. Don't got much to say, boy. Cradle to the grave, and it's been like this since a slave boy. It ain't shit to pull up. I think even though J. Cole puts one of his best verses ever on that song, I think J.I.D. still is able to beat him out. And that's why uh, he's one of my favorite rappers. And some people don't like the hook. I get it. I enjoy the hook. <laughs> but, you know, I still think it's one of his be uh, best songs and it's one of his most popular for a reason. Yeah, definitely. I, I had that as my a second on my list. And I said J.I.D. outrapped J. Cole for sure. Like, yeah. I think he did. So that's very people impressive. People won't admit it. But people won't admit it. Great track, definitely, definitely. So now I got to think about what I want for my next pick. Um, dang, this is tough. This is tough. With my second pick, I'll go with 151 Rum. Son of a guy, son of a bitch, son of a woman, a man, son of a son, and it's something to be summoned a plan. Please come with a script, cover my back, cover man. Please come with a blitz. Look at this statue. This is his biggest track. Uh, but I think it's just a crazy track as well. Like the production is nuts. Shout out to Christo for that. He's a really under underrated producer. And this is also one of the first ones I heard. My friend put me onto this one and it's a banger. He goes in on that track for sure. I saw, I got to see him perform it live as well, which was crazy. That was an awesome experience. So 
I'll take that one with my second pick. Yeah, that when I I saw I've seen him live once, and um, for his very last song, he was like, "I'm gonna play a little bit of a slower song, something that means a little bit more to me." And then he started the Christo started the beat for 151 Rom, and everyone just started going crazy. Um, and yeah, that track is awesome. For my third track, I think I'm gonna go with. A never story track louder. I think it is just from front to back has some of JID's best bars. It just doesn't slow down. And um, you know, I have to give it up for that track. My number three, definitely one to look out for when you're talking about his rapping ability and style yeah that's a bit of an underrated one for him i would say i don't think that like anyone talks about that one as much as they should but some of the lines mm -hmm. in there definitely stand out like and get stuck in my head on different days so i think that's yeah. always a a good part about what jid does and that's that's a dope dope track dang this is going to be a tough this is going to be tough for people to pick <laughs> this is better because these yeah we've got a good list so far it's even so far for sure i gotta gotta have a good third pick here all right with my third pick I'm gonna go with working out. Yeah, I've been working hella hard. Shit ain't really working out. I've been praying to the Lord. Shit ain't really working out. I think that's a super chill beat. His performance is great as well. It's got a good, like a catchy hook on it as well. I think that's something that's underrated about GID. He's got some good hooks for real, but he can definitely wrap his ass off. And I think that the reason this one stands out for me, I love the ending of the track or whoever that is on the end of the track <laughs> where he says, throw some of that dream bill money. Somebody's charger. Yeah. And then he talks about J. Cole looking like he's going to steal somebody's yeah. charger. Like that's hilarious. That definitely adds to the track for me. So I'll take that one with my third pick. And the intro to that track is really groovy too. The take your heart, let me break it in two thing. Yeah. And the way he performs it for the colors show also is a big standout for True. me. I like that performance. True. Hmm. Okay. Number four. I'm trying to think if I should do a track that I personally think is really good, but I don't think as many people will like. I have one of those high up on my list as well. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. What if maybe maybe we'll do that for number four before I hit it with the last one. This song is another Never Story track. I just think it's super smooth from beginning to end. I love the instrumental and it's something that I can play in almost any situation. It doesn't need to be only when I'm listening to super hard rap music or only when I'm relaxing, but it's really good for anything. It's somebody. Yeah. Everybody gotta be something. Everybody wanna be something. Be something, don't be nothing. Everybody gotta be something. I love that song. I love the hook. I love all the bars. It's just, it's so fun to listen to. Yeah, it's the same one that I was talking really? about when I said <laughs> I had it high up on my list, but I wasn't sure people loved it as much. Yeah, I didn't know either. I love that track. Yeah, that's, I feel like it should get some more credit because it's just like fun to listen to for sure. Like, yeah, you put on a mm -hmm. vibe to it, but like, it's got good lyrics on it as well, too. So, yeah. It's a meaningful track. I like that one a lot. Yeah. What should I go with next? Damn. All right. I'll pick one that's like sort of similar. I, I like this track a lot. It's high up on my list. Uh, Ed Ed Nettie. Okay. Me and my two niggas, we like Ed Ed Nettie. I'm Zach, you AC, the Jesse and Kelly. I pull up to your hood, just let me know when you ready love the vibe of this track i think it's a hilarious title when i first saw it i was like there's no way he named it ed ed and eddie but it is a really good track and i enjoy the hook on that track a lot as well it's definitely another fun vibe so yeah i'm happy to have that one as my fourth pick for sure i think it's a solid track i think a lot of people like that one as well okay number five i'm between two different songs i have one on the never story one on dicaprio and hmm you know what? I'm going to go for I'm going to go for the Never Story one. This track is one that I think has some of the most fun lyrics. It's a little more laid back, but um it it's definitely sh it definitely shows a lot more of uh JID's personality and um that song would be Underwear. Melancholy cool. Matthew McConaughey on a money mission trying to get it. Spit it with all of my umbrellas. I think it's very fun. I love the lyrics. I love the way he performs it. I love that part where you can hear him clapping in the background while he's doing the recording. Um, and, you know, it just has a lot of versatility for me. So that's my number five pick to round it out. 
Okay, awesome. I think that's one of his earliest tracks that he put on streaming as well. And yeah. He, mm-hmm. So that's a that's a bit of a classic for him for sure. But that's a that's a good pick. I think that one is definitely underrated, underappreciated a bit. Uh, but the Never Story has just such great songs like that on it for sure, for sure. I'm between. There's a couple of, that are left here that I could pick for this last spot. I think. Yeah, that, you've got a lot of you got a lot of choices here. Hmm. I was between I was between two on this, but I'll go with off the zoinkies if, if mm. i'm saying that correctly i always look at it if i'm like i don't even know if i'm saying that right but that's a really cool song i love how that song builds up for a while until it gets to like yeah. a, a little bit of a switch in the beat or like a like a peak in the song uh but i feel like it goes hard the whole way through i think his performance is really good on that and i think that like I remember the music video for that track when I think of it, and it's like interesting how he chose like to have an actor be in it instead of him. Yeah, uh, but that's a mm. that's a unique perspective to have, and I thought it was fun. Uh, I think it's one of his best tracks for sure. So I'll take that one with my fifth pick. Wow, yeah, that was on my list too. Um, some other, the other one that I was thinking of was Westbrook. Was one of my um, honorable mentions just because I like how he put you know another pretty fast rapper on the thing on i like how he put another fast rapper on the track as a feature but didn't necessarily use him for the verse and still was able to like do two back-to-back verses that were just insane yeah that's a good track another one i want to mention just because i've been listening to this song a lot lately is slick talk i think it's like a great Mm. intro well it's not lately the intro but second track on uh on dicaprio 2 to get us going and like it starts off really really crazy and then the beat switch and it slows down a little bit like that's such a cool track i love the production by kenny beats on that yeah his drums on that song are crazy there's like that one point where the drums like slow down and start matching like his rhythm and that song is definitely has to be an honorable mention for me too because i don't skip it even though it's kind of like an intro track but it's really cool okay my final team to play for the season is gonna be strawberries off d's louder somebody in underwear listen guys you gotta vote for my list it's got a great mix of hard rap and some more smooth stuff funny lyricism great instrumentals great i was just gonna say great instrumentalities or something great instrumentals you can't miss with the list um i'm sorry to say my team it's gonna be undefeated for the season well my team going up against him is never 151 rum working out ed ed netty and off to zoinkies if you guys think that one's better throw me a vote but i I think that might be a little bit better you know i don't know it is a pretty good list (laughs) (laughs) they're both very good though he's got a good top like 15 songs so like that's always going to be competitive for sure all right now that we've picked the teams the poll is live on my channel now you guys can go ahead and vote thank you nick for joining me today Make sure you guys check out Nick's channel if you haven't already. Thank you for having me. Always excited to talk about some JID. Hopefully I will be back in the future to duke it out once more. Hopefully he drops his album soon. We're waiting for it, JID. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to vote, drop a like on the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.